Hi, this is DH Dunn, and I'm here to ask myself a very basic question. Can I lope 10 days without sound? So we're going to take it out, and we're going to get into it, and, um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's see where we are at. Day two, five hours. We are in the bunker of, uh, Mystery Lake. And let's see our situation. Plenty of fuel. Lately, I've been dealing with a lot of runs with not much fuel, so happy to see all that. Uh, 10 matches is not great, but it's not zero. And we have the maglots. Uh, Clothing-wise... Okay, you know. Could be better, could be worse. What we don't have currently, if, you know, I'm approaching this as a loper run... We've got our bedroll, which is fantastic. We have um, cooking pot. We've got the, the skillets. We have uh, a thermos for whatever, you know, excitement that offers. Um, good for summit runs, the thermos. Probably great in FA. I find myself not using it that much. Um, it depends. I think it's probably great in, like, HRB as well. Uh, but no tools other than that. No crowbar, no um, uh, hammer. So I'd really like to focus on clearing out the rest of Mystery Lake so that we can uh, try to get moving towards some kind of run here. Where have we been? Where have we not been? I don't think we've been in the lake cabins. No, we didn't go there, and we're close to those. Let's start with that. I don't think we've been to them. Last time was pretty scary. Um, lots of wolves that I didn't know were there. So I need to be very careful about um, not running around without a torch. So let's start off by running around without a torch. But we're up here. I've never gone back down the rope. Do I know how to get back? <laughs> Do you think? It, all right. Well, if the cave is there, then it should just be this way, right? Now, I can't hear a thing. I can tell that it's windy. Um, my head is not uh, as much on a swivel right now because, like I said, there's nobody up here who can hurt me. Um, I have given thought to maybe it would be interesting to cut the sound off for you guys as well for a short oh, sequence just so you can food. see what this is like. Um, I really feel like 45 minutes of no sound and just me talking is just not going to work well on YouTube. So I didn't do that. But uh, I can tell you the challenge is really interesting. There's a surprising amount of information that you get from listening. But the reverse is true as well. Storms are a little less stressful. Wind is a little less stressful. Um, there was a blizzard that I... I think it was a blizzard. Uh, that I went through in uh, Forlar Muskeg in the first part, and it wasn't as nerve-wracking because I can't see anyway, or I can't hear anyway. Yeah, I think I went straight for these. I feel like it's probably too windy for a torch anyway, so I'm not going to bother wasting one of my ten precious matches. That's, that's probably, along with tools, that's my other kind of focus. So I think we clear up Mystery Lake today, and then we decide. Um, I kind of would like to go forge, but I need something curing. I don't like to forge without at least a maple curing. I know where to get some maple. That's not the problem. The problem is cutting the damn thing down. Whoops. Why is there a porch here but no door? What is this opening for? Is this a secret door? What, what is that? I don't have a lot of experience with lake cabins. Maybe that's a lake cabin thing. Uh, I think this should be going live on a Tuesday for most folks, regardless 
I hope you had a good weekend. Uh, today is St. Patrick's Day, as I am uh, recording this. So happy! I hope you had a happy St. Patrick's Day, if that is a thing that you uh, do. Uh, never been a big holiday for me, but, you know, it's fun. It's fun, uh, you know, wear green and, you know, that's about it. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think a lot, for a lot of us, the holidays are very defined by what you grew up with, and it wasn't a big holiday in my house, and I think that's what made it not, you know, not something... And, you know, you don't get school off for it. So that's, as a kid, holidays fall into different categories. Do I get anything? Do I get candy or presents? And do I, do I not have to go to school? And uh, do kids get things for St. Patrick's Day? There's probably some families where that happens. All right. Um, does this one have the weird opening too? Not really. It has this. So I feel like this homeowner here, this cabin owner, was just really lazy and was like, okay, sometimes I want to go out the back, but oh, walking all the way around, I just can't. I need another opening over here. Maybe they ran out of wood. I don't know. Now I'm fascinated by why this hole is there. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. Look around. My voice feels or sounds a bit uh, raspy to me today, but it's also possible that I'm just not used to hearing it uh, without um, the game sound. Maybe it's always raspy. I don't know. That was something that took me a long time to get used to after I started streaming regularly and then putting things on YouTube was listening to my voice as it sounds to you versus how I hear it. Because I think, I think because of resonance, I think all our voices sound different to us than uh, uh, to the rest of the world. And to get used to that, it was, was uh, a, bit, a bit of a process. Also getting used to seeing my, myself. <laughs> I got over it because I love this so much, you know? Uh, this is just the best hobby. This is my hot rod that you would build in the garage is streaming and, and making videos is my hot rod. Uh, this is what I love to tinker with and tweak with. And I just have so much fun with this. This is, you know, such a great, uh, it's, 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 it's somewhere, it, it exists in some land, you know, where it's kind of more than a hobby for me. Um, obsession? Uh, you know, maybe not that, but I do love it. It makes me very happy. Boy, I, this is another thing about the no sound thing. Man, you get introspective. <laughs> I used to notice that one of the first games that I would... Uh, oh, guys, we're in for it today. Um, one of the first games that I used to stream... Could end up being was useful. Stranded Deep. I streamed Stranded Deep before I streamed uh, The Long Dark. And um, sometimes in Stranded Deep, you've, you've got a raft or something, and you're going to go to an island, and there's this, like, 10 minute of so just rowing. And there's just nothing happening except rowing. And, man, I would go on some real metaphysical discussions during those things. <laughs> The other thing that was interesting back then was that was basically I I was on Twitch, but no one was watching me, so because I was really just using I didn't know about OBS. Uh, I was streaming through Xbox. I didn't know OBS was a thing, uh, and so this was the easiest way I knew to put something on YouTube was to stream it on Twitch and then upload it to YouTube because the Xbox Twitch app has an option upload to YouTube. And uh, that was that was that was why I went on Twitch was because I wanted YouTube. Why did I want YouTube? Cold is for me. My head feels like... I watched a lot of people, particularly Christopher Odd, um, 
do runs of XCOM and runs of Darkest Dungeon, and I wanted one, I wanted to do one and kind of record it, and that was, I thought, the easiest way to do it, because if you record it yourself locally, you get the hard drive space, you know, issue. What have we here? And, um, that was what put me on Twitch, was that. So. <laughs> Just some, some, I think, maybe wholesome level of uh, narcissism is what put me out there. I just wanted a recording of my run. I wanted to remember it. And um, then I just started talking, and my friend Greg, another author, Greg D. Little, check him out, um, would pop in, and he would uh, talk to me, and uh, occasionally... Uh, Kelly Lynn Colby, an editor from uh, Curse Dragon Ship, also an author. Uh, Curse Dragon Ship Publishing, she would come by. And uh, that was it. My first six months of streaming, 90% of the time, there was no one there. I had no regulars. It was not uncommon for me to stream to zero the entire time. But I didn't stream that long. I would stream a run. So I would, in Darkest Dungeons, I would stream like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Wasn't I playing a game, like The Long Dark or something? Maybe I should be talking about that. I don't know how I got off on this kick, guys. Sorry. St. Patrick's Day makes me, uh, uh, <laughs> it makes me think, I guess. All right, we're very cold. I can't hear her, his complaining. I forgot. We've got, uh, William today, not an Astrid. No bear. There's his nooch. He's not in it, so we're good on that front. I'll take this. If it's good condition, I'll probably eat it now. It's not. I'll take those. Give me some of this. Give me those. Gosh, where is... Oh, wow! That is a random. Now, sometimes that's in uh, Camp HQ. So maybe... In fact, I frequently find in Camp HQ, maybe the Aviator Cap is a guaranteed spawn in Mystery Lake and it's just somewhere? That would be interesting. Wow, I have burned through my stamina big time. Ugh. I hate walking in the wind. Okay, so the wolves have taken today off since they gave me so much of the business yesterday. If I had a lot of fire source... I think I would stop, uh, start a fire, go into a fishing hut, start a fire so that I can fish, then realize I have nothing to break the ice with, only after putting two hours worth of wood in the fire. Since I only have ten matches, I won't go down that decision path and make that mistake. <laughs> Good lord the wind. It's a little less annoying to not hear it. I guess we should probably grab some cattails. We need to find some place to escape Since this cold. Here. But yeah, I'd like to make some forward progress today on some front. We're actually warm in here. Once we're out of the wind, we're warm. That's interesting. Not sure why I feel so Ooh. tired. I was just thinking, boy, I'd like another sewing kit because I wouldn't mind um, repairing the bedroll. I don't like how low condition it is. Should we stay in here for one hour and warm up? We do have a good amount of water. I'm happy about that. But what would we do? Read about fire? I guess the decision just got made. It just did it. As long as we're warming up. Oh, good. It got way worse. Now it's blizzarding. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I don't know which way anything is. Okay. I need to find food. Well, and we can't break this right now. Tool required to break ice. Um. Sure. So. Read about fire. <laughs> Whoops. 
Oh boy. All right. Uh, well, we got cold, so uh, the whole stay warm thing is over. Um, okay, let's start with drinking. And now I do need to make a decision about heat. I think we'll try to wait this out. Never felt so cold in my life. Let's start with... Um, yeah. That'll work. Yep. This was... <laughs> this was a mistake. I'm mistake in this thing. To warm up is why I stayed here. It's easy to forget how fast the weather can turn. Although I may not have been paying attention to it because I was just in babble mode for some reason. Let's, yeah, that'll, that'll go. Okay, so we got two hours here now. We're warming up. Let's give ourselves an hour. We'll see if this can dissipate. Feels like it'll take more than this time. You'll... Okay, what do we got? Another, yeah, throw another, uh, Throw the fur in there. That'll, that'll hold us for a while. Yeah, all right. Now, at this point, I do feel like I need to eat something. I don't want to eat any of the low-condition food because I'd rather be at Camp HQ when we do that. That seems good. Let's maybe give it two. Okay, got better. Um, still an hour and a half on this. Let's peek out, see if I can get my bearings. Uh, I think that's the dock over there. All right, tell you what. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm gonna drop this. I think I think the dock is over here, right? Um, I'm gonna drop that torch there. Take another one out. That way I can find this fishing hut easily. I need to come back to it if I'm wrong. But yeah, I can see the little cabin already, so I think we're fine. Did I bring the bedroll? Yes. At least I don't have to worry about the bear. I know he's not up. I mean, did I go in this one? Should have. You never know with me, though. Okay, I did. Alright, we'll sleep here. I could eat a horse. Okay. Um... Yeah, nothing back there. I probably should have grabbed torches out of that fire, but whatever. Okay, uh, give me a nice drink. Don't use the herbal. We don't need it. Let me eat something the best of the bad. Smash it open. Honestly, I don't know if I could smash a can open. I is she bang is he banging it against like the side of a table or something? I think he would just dent the can. It must be with a, like getting a rock or something. Let's see, we'll go nine. We can't actually get nine, but we can get like eight and change. Alright, fully rested. It's almost daytime. Nice drink. I'm going to need to eat soon. Eat some more cattails because we'll get some on the lake. I'm really hoping for a mag lens fire this morning.
depending on temperature, we either head back to Camp HQ or we head up the creek and go to um, the uh, Overlook Cave. Leave cabin. Yeep. Uh, I mean, technically, it's kind of still night. Like I think I would prefer to wait until light time. Light time is the right time. I need to be able to see, man, because I can't hear anything. Okay, so you know what we're going to do? I'm going to fix that bedroll. Actions. Repair. Requires two cloths. 45 minutes. Let's go. Okay. Got any curtains in here? Well fed. Welcome to the party, well fed. Always great to have you here. Um, at this point, I can harvest this. I might want to hit this bedroll one more time. Uh, hit me bedroll one more time. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where are you? There you are. Nope, I need one more cloth. What would I do? Um, I think I'm better off repairing the gloves with the one cloth I have and seeing if I can then swap out uh, for the hand coverings. No, I still can't. This is this is just leather. Let's just harvest this now. The improvised gloves are surprisingly warm. Oh, we do have this hat. We have this. We can harvest this too. What are the gloves at now? 89%. I wonder if 100% gloves are better than 100% improvised. Whoops. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll never know now, will we? <laughs> okay, I've done enough damage. Let's leave. <laughs> Oh my god, the amount of times I have done that. What happened there? I'm going to have to go back and watch the video. Because I thought I was uh, repairing them. But I was harvesting them. I have famously... Uh, there's no dumb thing in this game I haven't done. There's, I've done all of them. Name the dumb thing, I've done it. I have harvested my bedroll. Um... That happened because I was repairing my bedroll. Let's make sure I have the damn thing. I was repairing my bedroll and uh, it got to 100%. I was pushed, it was very low condition and I had a ton of cloths. So I'm just like repair, 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 repair over and over and over. And if you use controller, the button that you press to repair, once it's at 100%, turns into the button you press to harvest. So, if you just keep pressing X, you will repair and repair and repair. And once it hits 100%, you, you press the button again, and now you're harvesting. And if you're not paying attention, as I frequently am not, you harvest the bedroll. And I did that. And my Twitch chat has never forgotten that. Because Twitch chats are good for that. <laughs> They are good for that. They will remember. They'll remember the time you used four stems to get up a rope because your ribs were broken. And uh, I kept screwing up the rope. Don't. It's so complicated to explain why this happened. Um, it's the rope in Ash Canyon on the route to the backpack. The old route. The route I used to take. And um, I think I'm going to go to Camp HQ and, war and warm up first. I don't love the looks of this weather. I just got moose stomped. I was so excited to get moose stomped. It was like the greatest moment of my life because I'd never been moose stomped before. So I was great. It was just, yes, awesome. So I got moose stomped. Then I wanted to get the backpack, but you can't climb a rope if uh, your ribs are broken. But you can if you stim. And... Had four stems on me. 
So I'm like, all right, well, I know there's a little rope that you got to climb up in there. I'll just go up there. And I don't know if they've changed the behavior of this, but at the time, when you climbed a rope, your torch went out. Like, you couldn't climb a rope with your torch lit, I think was my issue. And so I kept going up, and then in the dark, in the pitch dark, and I would, like, fall back off. I can't feel my hands. And then I would have to climb up again. And somehow... This resulted in me using four stims to get up the rope. So, like I said, there's no dumb thing to do in this game that I have not done. And yet, I will discover new dumb things to do. Very, very early in my streaming career uh, of The Long Dark, I was in Forlorn Muskeg. And I had just gotten some climbing socks. And I harvested them to repair my regular socks. <laughs> and the chat, on some level, understandably lost their mind. Because I, I didn't know. I didn't know that the climbing socks were so good and hard to find. Okay. Let's go sleep for two hours. Warm up. Check on the weather situation. This is kind of a cozy series, I guess, or at least today. Cozy episode. Hasn't been too dramatic. It doesn't have to be drama all the time. Sometimes, you know, we can just make progress. We can just make good things happen. It's raining outside today. Cold spring rain. Kind of a drag like to go with a walk. I'd like to go for a walk with my wife, but uh, that seems unlikely. It's no fun walking in windy, cold rain. Um, I did burn a decent amount of fuel. Let's grab some of this. All right, I'm going to try to do the back route to... Um, the overlook. I screw this up. Ugh. The weather is just never going to be good. I'll just have to roll with it. This is borderline blizzard. And yet, I still seem to be moving. <laughs> Apparently, I don't care. <laughs> So, you can do this route to the overlook, and you don't have to do a, ro a rope climb. But I don't always get this route right. There's this rock here, and I think I need to go to the left of it, and then it kind of flattens out, and then I go straight. Then maybe I'm there, or maybe I go up here. Maybe that's it. I think maybe this is it. Yeah, this is it. Okay. All right. Apparently sound was my problem. See, here's some, here's some maples. Come to me. Just rip it out of the freaking ground, Will. You can smash open a can. But you can't pull a freaking sapling out of the ground. Don't get me started on the pillows. That's just a whole other rant that we won't get into. Thanks for really nothing. I mean, you know, woods and sticks and stuff, sure. It's warm back here. That's nice. Uh, but I really wanted much more than this. Okay, do I stay here and warm up? Do I start a fire? Um, fire gives me multiple benefits right now. 
but we're down to nine matches. I don't know how I feel about that. How much fuel is in this lantern? Just out of just out of <laughs> random brain curiosity. Wow, that's nice. Good job. Good job. All right. Uh, maybe I just warm up. Maybe I, you know what? Reading a book has never steered me wrong. Staying in a location and reading a book always works. It's it always generates good results. Our psychology work. All right, well, okay. Okay, maybe not. I thought, okay, no. <laughs> it's basically the same as it was. Whatever. 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 I don't care. I actually do not care. I don't care. I'm trying to think, how many rope climbs are there in Mystery Lake? Because it's not a map that you think about rope climbing a lot with. This is technically two. There's the, um... I mean, uh, rope climbs where the rope is always there, not places where you could put a rope. Um... There's the rope behind the fishing cabin, so that's three. There's the rope in the dam. That's four, if you count the dam as part of Mystery Lake. Is that it? I think that might be it. I know there's uh, rope climb setups at both fire towers, but I don't think either of them always has a rope. I am very worried that I'm not taking wolves seriously here. This is not, I don't think, a blizzard. I could eat anything right I can't now. tell. Uh, I, you know, I should look, see if I see bunnies. I'd love to grab the guts off that. Uh, I can't, no, I can. There'll be other carcasses. Don't do it in the blizzard. Wind storm thing. Don't do it when you can't hear. Oh, that's right, too. Yeah, I need to be really careful about that. You know, of all the... Uh, I almost said monsters. Of all the animals of the log dark. Of all the monsters of the log dark. The two that I think I need sound for the most, one was the bear. I talked about the bear, but also the moose. I usually hear the moose long before I see the moose. In fact, sometimes I never see the moose. I just hear him. And I either go, nope, <laughs> or I hear him charge, and so I'm just frantically running looking for a rock to climb up. And that's my advice, guys. Anytime any predator is chasing you, don't look to get away. Look to get up. Look to get up a rock. Any rock will do. As long as you can get up on a path that they can't follow, that should be good enough. So, like, just trying to goad up something. Bam. You're safe. Then you just wait for him to wander off. You're not gonna outrun him. Uh, sprint, your sprint will run out, and I think the moose is faster than your sprint anyway. I think the bear might also be faster than your sprint. Um, maybe if you're unburdened, I don't know, but uh, yeah, you're not gonna get away. Break the pathing. Break the pathing. Literally. The only thing I'm good at in this game. So I will invariably die to it today. Because I said that. Because this game never wants me to feel confident about myself at all. Me in the long dark. Very complicated relationship. 
Actually, it's not complicated. I absolutely adore this game. I, I have no complicated feelings about the long dark. A plus probably wouldn't change a thing. Even the things I don't like about it, I like about it. Like, I don't think I would change anything. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now, okay, I'll take that back. <laughs> that thing where you accidentally light a match when all you were trying to do was um, uh, chain one torch to another torch and you just slightly missed the hitbox? Okay, yeah. <laughs> that one. That one I would change. If they only let me change one thing. Now, I gotta worry about Scoopy here. I want to see him before I run into him, and I don't actually see him. Uh, he's I think he's over there. I think I saw him uh, past the bridge. Now, we do have moose rubbings here, but what we don't have is moose runnings. We have no moose. have in my life seen a real moose in the wild. Well, it wasn't really in the wild. It wasn't in a zoo. It was walking down <laughs> the street of Machias. Uh, back when I lived in Machias, Maine, uh, a moose just wandered into town, walked down the street, and I just happened to be out doing errands. And holy cow, they are astonishingly huge. It's like an elephant. Like, it's just, it's amazing how big they are. A friend of mine hit hit one with his car, and uh, probably killed the moose, but definitely killed so his dog. Hungry in my life. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Okay, over here. Oh, gotta watch that well fed. I can't hear any complaints about it. Let's eat some death fish at ninety nine percent. Come on, this is an XCOM. We should be fine. I'm having a good time today. I don't know. Um, I don't know how entertaining or dramatic an episode this is, but I'm having a good time. Uh, you know, hey guys, we hang out every day. Every day, to, like I said this already, but every day doesn't have to be drama. We can just hang out. It's cool. Um, I could use this. Tell you what, I won't mind being in the dam and not hearing that dunka 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 that noise. I, I'm okay with that. That's all right. Don't surprise me, Scoopy. I need to find food. Don't you do it. I hate this wolf. Definitely respect him, though. Wait, did I go here already? I feel like I went here already. Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm enjoying myself too much, so I'm paying even less attention. Okay, off we go. And no scoopy, no scoopy, no scoopy, no scoopy. I kind of want to look over here. Because I want to see... That carcass is there. Okay. And there's Scoopy. He's over there. So he would be a problem if we wanted to go get that carcass. Because I want to get some guts carrying. So I won't touch that carcass. I know it's there. Maybe we can find, maybe we can find a hacksaw in the, in the dam. I always smack myself in the face with the damn fence gate. All right, on we go. Anything for a drink right now. 
I need to check on the recording time. Yeah, I'd say this is probably a pretty good spot here. We can pick this up tomorrow in the dam. We will loot the dam with our super-powered lantern uh, with lots of fuel. We'll hit the save. Pretty much guarantee we find hacksaw and matches. That's I'm calling it now. Hacksaw and matches both being found in the dam tomorrow. Since I know we're finding a hacksaw and matches, then we will go get the uh, saplings get those curing go down to that carcass get the guts out get those curing and then we think about forging if we can get our hands on a hammer you know what what the hell we're finding a hammer tomorrow too all of this is happening tomorrow okay uh i think that's going to do it for me for this one thank you very much for watching and enjoying a somewhat chilled out relaxed episode of um, i hope you had a good time i certainly did and uh, i'll be back tomorrow with more adventures in the long dark uh, if you could do the YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe, those do all really help me. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.